The TARDIS arrives near a big space museum on the planet Xeros, and it has jumped a time track. When they discover their future selves are an exhibit to a galactic conquest, they must then change history and their own future. This is Lum Monkey 953, coming through the ashes to your computer screens, and today I'll be reviewing the Space Museum. It's written by Glyn Jones and directed by Mervyn Pinfield. The Doctor and crew arrive on the planet Xeros in a space museum. The museum contains fascinating exhibits uh, which include a Dalek shell. However, the most fascinating, but ho however worrying, is that one of the exhibits are in fact the TARDIS crew. Uh, the planet's inhabitants are the Morrocks, the leader, Lobos. He's a um, desperate museum administrator and colony governor. He reflects on the Morrock Empire and their victories, which have all been in the past. They're similar to Rome, their empire became decadent and then declined. Vicky makes contact with the Zerons and when she hears about their enslavement, she aids them in their plans to stage a revolution. They attack the Morrocks armory and uh, Vicky outwits the controlling computer. With their new weapons, they are able to start a revolution. Um, the Zerons are able to kill Lobos and the other Morrock captors. They also destroy the museum as the TARDIS crew slip away, but on the camp planet Scaro, their departure is noted by the Daleks. This is a very good story, uh, good acting from the main, good ending really, and it paves the way for our next story, which is in fact The Chase. Um, not looking forward to that, but uh, there you go. Um, I give this one an 8 out of 10. OK, thank you very much for watching my review, and I look forward to seeing you at my next review. OK, take care. Bye-bye.